Hi there, this is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine, and we're coming to you from the HP NV13's webcam because we saw a video earlier today where an employee at a store, we suppose, was testing out HP webcam's face tracking technology and discovered that it didn't actually work with black people. However, as you can see, as I move around, the face tracker actually does work on me, although it's very odd. And I am black, but I'm a pretty light-skinned black person. So we invited one of the other writers, Jeffrey Wilson from Laptop Magazine, to come and try the face tracking software. Let's see if it works for him. Hello, Internet. I am Jeffrey Wilson with Laptop Magazine. I am now going to attempt to um, get the camera to move with my movements. The camera cannot pick up my face at all. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. Go right or left. It just can't see me. But it can still see me. Now we're going to invite one of our other coworkers to step in and see if it works for her. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Wellman, and wow, you see it already zoomed in, so you can see the technology responded right away. That's just when I sat down, so we're going to try moving around just a little bit. It seems to be following me, albeit in a jerky way, but it is following me. I don't have to work too hard. Let's see what happens if I move up. And it still follows me. So I guess the camera likes me. Back to you, Kim. <laughs> So one of the things we discovered when we first started this experiment is that with the backlighting correction on, the webcam recognized everyone. It recognized Dana, it recognized Jeffrey, it recognized me. When we turned the backlight correction off, that's where we ran into trouble. That's when, first of all, the picture got much darker, as you can see right now, and the webcam stopped being able to recognize Jeffrey's movements. So if you are a person of dark skin persuasion <laughs> and you want the HP webcam to follow you around, try turning the backlight correction up. This is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine.